Welcome back to Mainlining Miami, and let's open the door on today's real estate review sponsored by Majestic Properties. Joining us today is architect Max Strang of Strang Architects in Miami. Thanks for being here, Max. It's a pleasure. Something very interesting about you is that you're fluent in Russian, and you were one of the first U.S. undergraduates to study in post-communist Moscow. That's incredible. How does an experience like that shape your designs, and do you use your connection to Russian culture in your work? That's a very obscure fact you dug up on me. <laughs> uh, actually, no, I don't use my my background in Russian uh, into my architecture at all. Uh, I studied there. Actually, it was still when it was a communist nation, when Gorbachev and uh, Glasnost and Perestroika and all those movements were going on. Um, but that was before, well, I was a University of Florida student at the time, and it was before I had entered their architecture program. So... I guess you could say that my experience in Moscow gave me a lot of time to reflect that architecture is what I really wanted to do. So in that way, it did, it did, uh, it did affect me. That's a great luxury. I think all people should be forced to do something like that so they end up in the right um, career. And you certainly are, having recently seen your house. I think it's the only house in Miami I'd really want to move into. So can you leave so I can move in? It's really gorgeous. <laughs> no, we just finished it and we're quite happy there. So It's, it's really terrific. Um, many people spend a lifetime striving to gain res- recognition for their work. At the age of 33, you've been recognized by the American Institute of Architects as the Young Architect of the Year in 2003, and you were featured in El Decor, the New York Times, and you've appeared on the Discovery Channel. Where do you see yourself in your career 10 years from now? Well, I think 10 years from now, we'll all still be putting up hurricane shutters. But, uh, <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um, uh, no, I've been very fortunate to uh, get a lot of great projects very young in my career. Uh, 10 years from now, I hope to be doing more of the exact same thing that we're doing. I have a very energetic young firm. We're doing some really exciting uh, architecture. It's been described as uh, environmental modernism, uh, the type of designs that we do, they're bold. They reinforce the environment in which we build. Uh, We like to build with respect to the climate. Uh, We offer a great uh, great option for people that are fed up with the horrendous uh, junk that's going on mostly uh, in the South Florida architectural world. Uh, We like to build stuff that is appropriate uh, to its context. That sounds perfect, and your home is certainly a fine example of that. It's so naturally set. I think the first thing I said to you when I saw it was, how long has this house been here? It's truly extraordinary. It looks like it's been there a long time, but we we actually just moved in. But that's the advantage when you use a lot of the native materials. In our house, we use the native oolite limestone, the keystone, uh, a lot of wood. It just, it it fits, and that's, I'm glad you came away with that impression. And the the pool, I love how you did that on the uh, foundation of the house that was on the property. We decided to keep the history of the property a little bit. There was an existing house there. We dismantled the house but kept the foundation walls and built our pool within those foundation walls. So it's kind of like a grotto. It's it's a it's a fun it's a very fun pool. And it's it's the steps leading up to it are so majestic. So your firm, Strang Architects, was founded in 1998 in Miami. How can people contact you, find out more information about your firm, your work, and see? You can, you can call us directly at 305-569-0068, or our website is uh, www.strangarchitects.com. And, uh, you know, we do houses, we do commercial, we have projects in Costa Rica, all over Florida. So um, if you want something different and you like uh, environmental modernism, that's what we do. That sounds terrific. And if you want to hear more or read more about Max, you can look for a profile of him in the next issue of Majestic Match coming out in October, where I get a little more in depth to environmental modernism and the things that make Max and his Firm Tick, thanks again for joining us. Again, it was a pleasure. And we hope you'll come back. Thank you. Listen again next week to Real Estate Review. We'll be joined by Majestic Properties.